merging contacts and companies inside of HubSpot is really easy to do, and it's critical to maintaining your data cleanliness. I'm gonna show you how to do it in today's HubSpot hack. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. There's more than one way to merge contacts and companies inside of HubSpot. The first one I'm gonna show you is going directly to the contact record. You wanna make sure that you go to the primary contact that you're gonna to wanna to keep after you merge the two records together. So for this one, this Leslie Nope at the Parks Department is the one that I'm going to want to keep as my primary record. So once I get to her page, I can click Actions, and there will be a Merge option for me to then search my database for any other Leslie Nopes that might be in my system. So when I go in and I start typing her name, we can see there's actually a couple other Leslies that I'm going to want to merge with this record. So the one over here on the right that I'm doing the merge from is my primary record. That means this is the email address I'm gonna keep and any other properties on the other record that I'm bringing over will be overwritten by the one that I am keeping. So for example, if her name was spelled a little different or the email or phone number were different, it's gonna keep the information on the record that I'm doing the merge from. If any information on the record I'm bringing over is not known on the primary, it'll then actually fill in that information when I do the merge. So just some important information to remember when you're merging contacts and companies. So once I'm ready, I can click on the record I want to merge and press merge. And just like that, the merge is successful. So it'll bring over any unknown properties, any activities, it'll bring them over. Uh, it's important to know that once you merge a contact, you cannot unmerge them. And it works just like this for companies as well. You want to go to the company record and then click actions, and then you can merge them from there. The other way that you can merge contacts and companies is if you navigate over to the contacts or companies tab and click in there, there is an actions drop down that you can click to then manage your duplicates. So I think it's roughly twice a month, HubSpot will reach out to you, letting you know that it's detecting duplicates in your portal and that someone should go in there and review them and merge them. If you have Operations Hub, it actually makes it really easy to do where you can click over on the left-hand side and merge multiple records all at once. If you don't have Operations Hub, professional or enterprise, don't worry, you can still do this. It's just more, a little bit more manual and a case-by-case -case basis. So I'm gonna uncheck these checkboxes here and I have two Alexis Eaglins in my portal. You can see their email's a little bit different. So I'm gonna click to review over here on the right-hand side. And then HubSpot's gonna ask me which record I want to keep. So again, when I merge them, it'll bring over all activity information and any unknown properties. But if both of them have known values, which one do I wanna keep as my primary? So whichever one I highlight is gonna be the one that I keep as my primary. So I know Alexis, I know this is the email that she prefers. So I'm gonna keep this record as my primary and then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna merge those contacts. So that's how you merge contacts and companies in HubSpot. I hope you like this video and make sure you like and subscribe for other great HubSpot hacks.